wherever we happen to be in the country, we've all seen these beautiful yellow fields of flowers. And this is what it gets made into. This is cold pressed rapeseed oil. And there's a good reason why your chefs are getting very excited about this stuff. It's local, it's artisan. And I'm gonna find out how all this gets made into this beautiful oil. Rapeseed oil is a healthier, local and artisan alternative to olive oil. It's lower in saturated fat, high in omega-3s and with a high smoke point, it's great news for cooks and health. While local versions can be found nationwide, the beautiful yellow flowers thrive here in North Yorkshire on this fertile limestone soil. I'm going to meet a local producer to find out how the oil is produced the Kilby family have been farming in Collingham, North Yorkshire since the 1960s at Wharf Valley Farm, which takes its name from the beautiful Wharf Valley in Yorkshire. The oil is produced in a specially built press house and bottled on site, making it a textbook example of field to fork, artisan home production. So Sally Ann, this is the rape seed. That's right. When the flowers die, you get a pod and inside the pod, you get these seeds. And this is what we crush to make the oil. They look like poppy seeds, don't they? Yeah, they, they? do, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I find this amazing. You actually just, because it's cold pressed, you literally just squeeze that yeah. and oil comes out. Yeah. We put it through a screw press. We don't use any heat and we don't use any chemicals. So we literally put it through a screw press, then we filter it to make sure that there aren't any bits of the middle left in it. So we take it, actually we take it down to one micron. So what does that one micron mean in, in real terms? What can I relate that to? <laughs> According to my husband, the oil in your car is round about four to five microns. So it's, it's cleaner and it's more filtered than that. Well, it does look absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely it? colour, isn't it? It's stunning. And mm. I mean, I made mayonnaise with that and it goes bright yellow. It's mm. fantastic. Mm. And what I find very interesting about this oil, it sounds weird, but it tastes quite dry. It doesn't taste oily. It's not claggy, is it? No. It doesn't stick to the roof of your mouth at all. And that's because it's low in saturated fat. Rapeseed oil has half the saturated fat of olive oil. So, for example, if you put a bottle of olive oil in the fridge, you get a lava lamp effect. And that lava lamp is saturated fat. If you put rapeseed oil in, particularly cold pressed, then you won't get that effect. It's a winner, isn't it? Yeah. All round. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I love. I mean, that absolutely is a pure product. Yeah. All that is in that bottle is what has been pressed out That's of that right. seed. That That's is right. it. That's right. And the other thing with ours is that when we harvest it, we'd, the normal way of harvesting rape is to spray the crop with a glyphosate, such as Roundup. That kills the whole crop, and then it, it means that the whole thing is ready to harvest at the same time. Now, we don't do that. We do it the old-fashioned way, which means that we go through the crop with a really sharp knife, cut it off about this high from the floor, and then the top half, which has got the seeds in, lies on top of the swath, hence the reason why it's called swathed. And then it dies naturally, and then we pick it up. So we haven't even used any chemicals there. I now that's it. quite unusual. I love it. It just makes me want to go and get involved with it good. right now. Good. Jolly good. So, next time you're driving through the great British countryside and you see these wonderful fields of yellow, hopefully you've got a bit more of an insight into what they actually produce and a little more culinary inspiration.